A big shout out to the Midjourney Prompt Masters over at FreeFlow, the sponsors of this video. You won't believe what you've been missing. More from FreeFlow later in the video. Something exciting happened recently. Midjourney dropped version 5.2 on us. So if you woke up this morning to find your Midjourney images look different, you're not hallucinating. If you thought Midjourney style couldn't get any better, you're in for a surprise. But it's not just that the images are sharper and more detailed. Version 5.2 brought in some much anticipated and game-changing tools. They haven't just given us one tool that will completely change our images, they've given us three. Today we'll explore these fantastic new tools and how one tool especially will completely change the way you prompt. In this video, you'll be catching glimpses of version 5.2 in action, right alongside version 5 and version 5.1. If you're itching for a comparison video, don't worry, I'll take a deep dive into the differences between these versions in an upcoming video. For now, Midjourney has shifted the default to version 5.2, opening up a new playground for everyone to explore. But don't fret, you can switch back to version 5.1 or version 5 anytime. But today our spotlight shines on the groundbreaking new tools. Let's dive into our first tool, the highly anticipated Zoom Out feature. Zoom Out is Midjourney's version of out painting. Think of it as taking a step back from your image to get a broader perspective on your image. Zoom Out can bring new life into tight shots, expanding your frame for more context. We've all gotten tight shots, especially of people, but now we can zoom out and maybe we can even see their feet. With a single click, you can zoom out 1.5 times or two times, depending on how much extra space you want around your subject. Use 1.5 times when you want just a little more space around your subject. Use 2x when you want to see more. Can you zoom out again? Absolutely. In version 5.2, you can zoom out again and again and again. You'll be surprised at how far you can go. And zoom out works in any aspect ratio. And if you don't like the details, just zoom out again from the original image and you'll get a different context. The buttons make zooming out easy, but you have more zoom options. Need just a tiny bit more space around your image? Click the custom zoom button. A familiar remix box appears and you can fine tune the zoom anywhere from one to two times. You can use 1.2 times or 1.75 times. And while you're here, you can adjust the aspect ratio. Zooming out changes the elements in the frame, but it doesn't change the actual image size. Images in version 5.2 are 1024 by 1024 pixels square, no matter how many times you zoom out. Looking for a prompt to try out in Midjourney version 5.2? The folks over at FreeFlow have just what you're looking for. FreeFlow is like Unsplash, but for Midjourney. They give you free curated images and prompts for your design or commercial projects. And these aren't just your everyday images, they're beautiful and carefully chosen to spark your AI creativity. No robots or cartoons, just cool stuff ready to use in your real world creative projects. Find art or stock images, travel photos or backgrounds. Use the search function and you'll always have the perfect image and prompt right at your fingertips. Quickly download the large, high resolution images you like, free. It's in the name. And because the creators share their prompts, you can make your own versions over in Midjourney. Change colors or details, aspect ratios or style. And you can learn a lot about prompting from the prompt wizards over at FreeFlow. It's hard to believe that these beautiful images are free, so hurry over to FreeFlow and find your favorite. Make Square is another exciting feature that we weren't really expecting. It's a variation on Zoom Out. With one click, your rectangular image is now a square. Midjourney doesn't crop in, it crops out. In the process, Midjourney fills in the missing details in the extra space. Got a portrait? Make square will fill in the sides. Got a landscape and you'll get more on both the top and the bottom of your image. Now you have a square that you can crop in or click custom zoom and change the aspect ratio. The best part, you don't have to be using version 5.2 for the zoom tools to work. Create something in version 5 and you will still be able to zoom out, or go back and upscale an older creation. The new zoom tools will show up, 
it doesn't matter what version the original image was created in. Turn on the Remix mode and you have even more options. If you haven't used Remix before, go to the message bar and type slash prefer Remix and hit enter. With Remix turned on, click the variation button and type the parameter dash dash zoom and a number between one and two at the end of your prompt. The zoom parameter may not work well in Remix yet, but you have a fresh image to work with and the zoom tools appear under your image. But what if you want to zoom in and get up close and personal with your images? Well, we don't need Midjourney AI for that. Use a cropping tool. There are lots of free photo editing programs out there like Pixlr or jump into Photoshop. With a few clicks, you can zoom in to your heart's content, emphasizing those details that make your image stand out. Zooming in will make your image size shrink a bit, but when you're showcasing your work online, that's not usually a big deal. But Zoom isn't the only tool Midjourney drop. We're all familiar with making variations of an image we like. Click the V button under your image and a new set of similar creations appear. The Remix mode lets us change things in the variation, but sometimes you may want to change things a little bit, and other times you want to change things a lot. With version 5.2, you now have more control over your variations. Now you can choose the strength of the variation. Choose Strong Variation or High Variation Mode for significant changes, or Subtle Variation or Low Variation Mode for much more minor ones. For images created in version 5.2, Subtle and Strong buttons appear underneath your upscaled image. Subtle changes minor details and will look very similar to your original image, but Strong will change your image in a much more substantial way and you can keep varying the images until you get something you like. But how do these new variations work with Remix? Let's try a little experiment. If I adjust the image subtly without using the Remix option, the tool delivers quite well. But if I try to remix an element, like giving our feline friend here bright blue eyes, Remix wipes out the image's original charm. But the strong Remix variation shows some promise. While our cat looks quite different, the result is still a bunch of impressive images. If you find yourself using subtle or strong variations more than the other, you can change it to a default in your setting. Type slash settings in the message bar and click low variation mode for subtle variations and high variation mode for strong variations. Now to the real game changer, the tool that you didn't even know you needed the tool that may just change the way you prompt forever, the shorten command. This feature was designed for creators who use long prompts. It shows you which words Midjourney pays attention to and which one it ignores. Wait, what? Yes, the AI is a bit like my cat. It ignores much of what you say. Simply type slash shorten into the message bar and copy in your prompt. You'll get a look into the mind of the AI. Click Show Details and you'll get a mathematical breakdown of how much weight Midjourney places on each word. And yes, sometimes that weight is zero. It turns out that the AI is simply skipping over a lot of the words. And that's not all. Midjourney suggests five shorter prompts, focusing on the key words. Each prompt is shorter and more concise than the last. The format looks a bit like the slash describe tool output. Clicking on one of the prompt choices brings up a remix box. You can change any part of the prompt or add some parameters. Can you get a similar image with fewer words? Yes, and Midjourney helps you choose your words. Are all of the shorter prompts better? Well, that I'm not so sure about. The really short prompt strips out all of the important style words. But seeing how the AI is looking at the words can only make us better prompters. Midjourney 5.2 is more than just a version change. Midjourney also gave us some new tools that will completely change your workflow. No more heads cut off or missing feet. Zoom out and capture the whole scene. And when you almost get the image you want, you can change it a little bit or you can change it a lot. Version 5.2 is looking pretty good. The vibe is different and overall the images seem sharper and more diverse. 
Want to use another version 5 as your default? Simply open your settings and choose version 5.1 or version 5 instead. Midjourney has given us plenty of room to explore your creativity, so go ahead and delve into these new features and let your art shine brighter than ever. If this video sparked your creativity, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to the channel for more insights and make sure to check out Free Flow for top-notch Midjourney prompts. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.